Hey Sandals Church men, the pandemic continues and it is May the 4th be with you and uh, yeah, we are still continuing on. Matt gave a great message about watching our lives closely and uh, man, what a critical thing because I think a lot of times we forget to watch ourselves. We watch what's going on around us, maybe our family, our bank account, our job, our hobbies, but we forget to watch like, how am I doing as a believer? How am I doing in building God's kingdom, being about his business? Am, am I ready for his return? I think it's great. And, and then also turning it to what am I watching? Am I watching my bank account? Am I watching the news? Am I watching Instagram? Am I watching porn? Am I struggling with my eyes? And I think it's just so critical that we get honest with ourselves, that we get really real about what our eyes are focused on. What are we taking in and what are we putting out? You know, are we uh, keeping our eyes on Jesus or being about his mission? Are we building community or are we just kind of building our own kingdom and focus on ourselves? And so if you're someone who's struggling with what they watch with their eyes, I just want to encourage you, man, we're all in this together. As men, all of us struggle to one degree or another with sexual sin. Nobody's exempt from it. Even just this week, there's a Netflix show we were watching. A new season came out, and I had this brief thought of, I wonder if there'll be any nudity this season. Because there's just little glimpses here and there. For the most part, it's not a big deal. But every once in a while, they pop up, and I have this thought and I just knew that that wasn't good for me. And even though I don't struggle with pornography or I'm not addicted to it, I still struggle with what I watch and I have to be careful with my eyes. And some of you guys have been stuck in that pattern for a really long time. You've struggled with it. You got exposed to it in childhood and it's a serious issue for it. And it feels shameful to talk about it. But I want you to know that lots of us struggle and there's men in our church who are here for you that want to help you. Uh, we have these men's sexual freedom groups. There's five of them meeting um, online on four ni different nights of the week. And they're there for you to, to really give good practical advice, to really challenge you to, to talk about their story and how they've walked through the healing process. And they're, they're just absolutely incredible. Uh, they're, they're there for you. They'll, they'll connect with you one-on-one -on -one to follow up if you're really serious about making a change. And some of you have been in darkness. You've been stuck for a long time. And it's time to break free. It's time to, to fix your eyes on Jesus and not on a whole bunch of other dark and bad things. And so I want to encourage you to reach out. You can go to sandalschurch.com slash men and uh, click more info to find out more about the groups. Or you can just see the list of groups and the nights of the week and the times they meet. Also in the email that I'm sending out along with this video, there's gonna be an attachment to watch some videos from some of our leaders in the men's sexual freedom groups. They wanna share about their experience, share some helpful tools. They're really honest, they're really great. I wanna encourage you to check those out, share them with the guys in your group, share them widely with anyone who needs that encouragement to make changes in their life in that area. It's really, really, really critical. And so uh, wh wherever you find yourself, all of us can grow in what our eyes are focused on. All of us can grow in being about not just ourselves, but God, his kingdom, his church, and the community that you're surrounded with. So I want you to just uh, really talk about this in your groups, to open up your eyes. Who are you missing? Maybe it's your own family. Maybe it's self-reflection in yourself. Uh, maybe it's something to confess wherever you find yourself. Talk about where you're focused on your eyes. We've got some great discussion questions for you. I want to encourage you to continue on. Love you guys. Praying for you. Make sure you reach out if you need connection or help.